welcome to the Car Ride Convos podcast. I'm Ryan. I'm Kristen. And uh, yeah, we are just deciding, not just deciding, this was planned for a little bit, but we decided that since we talk so much in the car, because we're a bunch of losers, we thought we'd record it. Yes. Because we're also super weird. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, gotten a lot of feedback from couples over the years, and I remember a story where there was a lady that was talking to you, I remember this, but you were, she was like, oh, you still talk to your husband in the car? And it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. that's just like... Apparently that's a cringy thing to do? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Something. Something very weird. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, here we are. Um, car Ride Combos is a new name because I, for the last three weeks, thought it was called Car Ride Combos. Like the snack. Yeah, like with like the 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 pretzel with like the fake like remember like the pizza one? cellulose cheese in the no I don't remember. But the, the pizza good? one? No, the cheese is like vomit. Oh really? Yeah. Ooh, that sounds terrible. Yeah. yeah, I thought I had something to do with that, and um, mostly because I'm an idiot. But <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a it's a snowy day here today, and we are. Um, driving to uh, the post office because we're exciting it is the most sexy thing you can do while driving is going to the post office yep to deliver packages to loved ones welcome to married life this is rock bottom <laughs> no. <laughs> no. well what we were talking about the other day we were talking about how spitting is a thing here in Boston. That's true. Yeah, which is weird. Like, yeah, I, I feel like there was a time growing up in Chicago that, not growing up in Chicago, when I was growing up outside of Chicago and I'd go to visit, that I just saw tons of people spit. And I was just like, I remember seeing that first time, I was like, oh, like that's terrible um and weird and gross and like a violation of human nature um but then it just like whenever I was in high school it just kind of stopped like the whole spitting thing just kind of stopped and I don't know I was just kind of theorizing how it like maybe like a there was a turtle (laughs) what where (laughs) snow I think it was like a piece of garbage are are snow turtles a thing I think it's like a general rule with turtles that like it can't be cold. I think. Well, it was. It looks like it was frozen, so it's not a turtle. Just forget it. I think any it any <laughs> any Boston zoologists <laughs> around, like listening, let us know if there's snow turtles down in the comments. <laughs> yeah, right? That's like a thing. Yeah, please, oh please God. do it. Also, please Sorry. get in the left lane here. That would be hilarious. I just turn this into like a road rage podcast. That would you be know, funny. That would be, that yeah, wouldn't be not, half it's bad. It's going to turn into that, I'm sure, eventually. Yeah. But it's just going to be us, like, screaming at people on the yeah. road. Yeah. Just be like, come on, man! Yeah. Exactly. Like, loud like that. Mm-hmm. And I have to scream really loud because last time the audio was, like, really quiet. So if I scream really loud, maybe it'll register. Maybe. You oh. were not You were not quiet by any means, though, so I think you should be Well, because I was trying to vocalize because I knew the audio was going to be bad. I don't know. You know, we're going to see how it goes. Let's stop with the technical stuff. We're not yep. here to teach you how to set up cameras and we don't know how record. To do that. No, that's for damn sure. Definitely, <laughs> definitely true. <laughs> definitely true. Oh uh, God! Also, first swear on the podcast. Congratulations. Oh. Figures. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> Me who like says the F word in front of your family. Yeah. When we made a pact to so, like try to tone that down. I know. That didn't work out. Happy one swear. Get Kristen on the volleyball court. She go crazy. Hey, FCC's gonna not gonna let us <laughs> down. We got this. Oh jeez. We got this. Well, I think that's really a swear word. Can we talk about that? I want to know what exactly is technically swear words because I feel like people are like oh yeah I try not to swear but then like they say I feel stupid saying like the d word or the b word well but I feel like those are definitely something that is not like saying hell hell doesn't seem to be a swear word either yeah I don't like so exactly there's a a really weird thing there's a really really weird thing that I remember it was it had to do with television shows and how like ass you can say ass now like that's a thing like you can say oh. that 
But like, if you say jackass though, it like bleeps out the jack, but like, so jackass is a swear word, but not ass. So you have to bleep out. I have to figure, I have to look that up because it's, oh my goodness. I, I think someone yeah, just tried to uh, shoot at us, if that's a thing. But luckily we have these uh, bulletproof windows on the front of our beautiful Honda, so. Um, not Safe. to worry, not to worry. We are alive and we living to another day. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, we gotta, all right, if you wanna be, okay, the first guest on the podcast if you're out there, the guy who makes the swears, okay? <laughs> who wrote the guy who makes the who swears. wrote the book of swears and we'll have you Where on are you? and what do they mean and why are they bad? You know? Because yeah. I think it's like in like the UK, like saying crap is really bad or something. Compared to like that's just yeah. like a throwaway. I don't know. I I read that I kid you not, I read that on the back or like crud. Crud or crap or something. Mm -hmm. I read that on the back of a shampoo bottle. So I can't me for certain okay. um so like that's 90 percent. that's like probably false completely false shampoo, do you find the effects it was that? actually on a female bottle of shampoo and um what is that supposed to mean we'll see also really weird why the sex sex shampoos like women men we well, all gotta wash well. we all gotta wash don't Wait. we what women stuff stop holding out on the men we got we got good hairs too well, and men, just, we won't help. We won't hold out on the women. Let's just like make it a thing, you know. But they have like, I mean, well, they have like female and male razors, which makes zero sense, really. I mean, all razors make zero sense. Like every year, wow. there's like thirty more blades added to a razor, and they're like, okay, this yeah. is it's getting closer than before. You we're gonna shave your face like never before, and it's like really, I bet not. Yeah. Like, how does that? Like, I feel like. The only thing multiple razors are good for is for clogging them easier. That's the only way. And um, I don't know. I feel like I need at least two razors. Yeah. For some reason, I have that. Well, I don't know if I've ever, well, not in years, shaved with a single blade razor. I don't know. I feel like I would cut myself easier. I've been using like my ankles and yeah. my knees. I don't know. Maybe that's a stupid. I've been using a safety know. razor recently, and that seemed to be working out pretty good. Can you explain what that means? Because I don't even really know what that means. A safety razor is just like a regular, you know those straight razors you buy to like cut open boxes or to put in box cutters and stuff? Yeah. Well, it's one of those and really thin so it's kind of flexible and you load it into like, it's got like a butterfly design on the inside. That's what they call it. Looks nothing like, it looks like a mutated butterfly. It looks nothing like a real life butterfly. Okay. You load it into this thing that's like double has two sides so both the both the razors come out the other side and you got to I don't know it just I've, I've used it the razors the actual razor blades are cheap um, the actual thing I hold on to is never gonna break because it's made out of metal I don't know seems like it's saving me money but also right. I hate shaving so there's that as well um, yeah I don't know well, then we just saw which I think we both were talking about is that like they had those commercials for like well, they weren't female condoms. They were condoms for yeah. women to buy because yeah. I don't even remember what their I label don't, was. I read the box. Show. I read the box, and I was like, "What? Like, come on, man! Like, this is females can buy condoms is, too or something." Yeah, it but was still male. Condoms. It was literally, it was literally the adult contraception version of um, what's it called? Uh, that stupid paper mate thing where it was like pins for women or something. It's just like I just don't. Type of marketing. It's so what bizarre. It's like you want pink stuff. We have pink stuff. Like what? It's just so. Like, weird. have you ever I... wanted to feel something really soft? And all the women are like, "Yeah, that's why I buy eighteen dollar pins. It's because I wanted to feel soft. I don't have to buy a pink, purpley. I think it's yeah. called. Oh, it's called paper, right? Paper, paper. <laughs> it was. Didn't that what you they call like it? You're doing a Mad Lib right now. Paper. But Mad that's yeah. what it. Man, yeah, I have no idea. But you all know, I know. Really yeah, kind of. I, I'm Half a, tea called, then like turns into paper. Yeah, it could be, but it was like called paper. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Maybe it was like, yeah, I don't know. Pathetic. Don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with the the women's and the men's stuff. 
Um, also, award shows, best actor, best actress. What? Like, yeah, they can. I mean, like, I'm not like one of those people that like all, you know, males and females. Let's all shower together and live harmoniously forever throughout our lives and all this like weird stuff. But like acting, acting. Like right. it'd be one thing if it was like let's have the NBA All Stars play the WNBA All Stars. It's like all right, all right that's a little weird. Um, but as far as acting, I mean like no joke. Like I'd love to see Meryl Streep go up against you know you know insert famous Daniel Day Lewis. See I'm I'm a pop culture savant connoisseur <laughs> yeah um yeah that's me i'm that guy so yeah i don't i don't know why i don't know why that's a thing you know um but you know whatever i'm sure they have their reasons maybe they want their award shows they want to make sure their award shows go for at least three or four hours before people get tired of them i think so. that's the thing i think it's just a matter of being able to hand off length lots of and they're like, what happens if a boy or a girl doesn't win? It's like, well, they don't, they don't win. Like, that's how this works. Um, and honestly, you know, one boy loser or one girl loser or multiples of each is a lot better than, you know, if it was boy and girl categories. And it was like, well, four women lost and seven men lost. Like, that sucks. Like, that's not fun. Let's just, yeah. let's, let's minimize the losers. A lot less crying, you know, a lot less sure. hardship, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm sympathizing too much with these people. They make millions upon millions of dollars on espresso machines and satellites. I don't know. Something. <laughs> <laughs> that got really off track. <laughs> That's a really cute house. Look at those doors. Those are nice. It's literally painted like a barn. Well, like it's just like they're like, hey, uh, the painters come and they're like, hey, what uh, what do you, what color do you want your house? And they're like, barn. I want barn. I want barn. Give me barn. And you know what? If I say barn, you know what color, right? That, yeah. That oh yeah. Color. <laughs> yeah. It's red. It's red. That's what barn it's is. Barn red though. No, yeah. it's just just barn. No, it's just barn. It's, it's just not barn. Even red. It's just barn. Yeah, it's just barn. Like you look color at that and you're barn. like, that's barn. Barn. Yeah. Color. Cause it's like on the it's on like the the rainbow. You have barn, and then it goes and kind of morphs into a purple, and that's like barny. You know, and <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Barney, I'm ashamed of you laughing right now. No, oh, you should be. Oh my god, that was pitiful. That made me die a little inside. I think. I don't know. I think it. I think that might actually launch launch my my stand up career. I think, I think that might be a that'll thing. That'll make it burn to the ground. You think so? I don't know. All right, well, let's do our first, our inaugural, 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 <laughs> integratable, um, integratable. let's do yes. our car ride combos trivia, okay? Did you say combos? Co convos. I'm afraid that you're going to Car ride <laughs> convos, not combos, not like the terrible snack that's made out of tree cellulose. Yes. Um, actual combos, like the ones you have with people that are... All right, that's good, yeah. <laughs> Yay for trivia! <laughs> trivia time! All right, this is uh, best out of three, and ties go into a sudden death round. Uh, multiple choice. Okay, so I'm going to start with you, Kristen. Yes. All right. Who directed Thelma and Louise? A, John Hughes, B, Cameron Crowe, C, Ridley Scott, or D, Richard Linklater? Ridley Scott, right? Ridley Scott? Is that your final answer? Yes. Are you positive? Yes. I don't know. John Hughes, Cameron Crowe, Richard is. Linklater! You're right! <laughs> It was Ridley Scott, famous director of the movie Alien. So it was a nice transition from Alien to Thelma and Louise. Just a beautiful, absolutely I beautiful. I didn't movie. actually know that until. Oh really? A quick YouTube video on it. Oh really? Hmm. So no, you already knew it beforehand. 
See, I didn't think you were paying attention, so. Wow, that's offensive. No, not offensive. Thank I just, you I just know that you're preoccupied. Much. All right, give me it. Okay. Um, th this is kind of off the topic of. Uh, well, this is about like vacation. Is we should okay? also say that today's topic for trivia, <laughs> yeah. because we don't know how to preface anything. Apparently, as we get pelted with this is going shotgun. Well. Um, <laughs> is uh, it's stroke, stroke. Um, <laughs> it's travel, friendship, relationships, road trips. It's all kind of yes. rhyming, not really. Okay, um, yeah, give it to me. I got this. Okay, um, this. I hope this is relatively accurate, but I, this is from 2016, like of last year. Sure. Of, since then. But, sure. Um, what is the percentage of Americans that has never been on a plane? Never been on a yes. plane. Ooh, percentage. Okay, ready? Yes. Um, A, 16%. Okay. B, 2%. Okay. C, 45%. Or D, 18%. 16 and 18 percent that's so unfair that's like a dis it's very small discrepancy but <laughs> i have zero faith in americans traveling so if i were to pick a number since those are so similar i'll go with the higher end at 18 percent wow yeah that was correct nice and See? i can't believe that you did that zero Fabulous reasoning skills zero faith in yeah, isn't mm. that sad? Yeah, no, we actually, Kristen and I, we um, we gave each other answers beforehand because we're just softballing this. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 <laughs> okay, no. so this is gonna really gonna throw a wrench into your life um, after giving me that one and me getting it right. Great. Getting it right. Great. By estimation, how wide is the continental United States of America? 1,500 miles, 2,800 miles, 3,500 miles, or 4,800 miles? 35. 3,500, is that your final answer? Yes. That would be incorrect. What? The correct answer is 2,800. Wait, what? Sorry. Womp, 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 From like womp. east to west? So, here's the deal. <laughs> uh, trick question. I was crunched Great. for time and I searched it and literally, you know, in Google, when there's like a blurb and they bold in everything yeah, yeah, you yeah. say, I just went with that. Cause I was like, you know what? Like, is this the furthest part? Is this by average? Who knows? That's the answer to my question. I'm so sorry you got it wrong. Here is, um, <laughs> Your question, because now I think this is going to disprove the question you just asked me. <laughs> okay. Um, but we'll see. Because I was going to ask you, uh, it was kind of a two-part question. Because Go for now it. that you're being evil, I'm going to ask you. Uh, so there is the longest road mm -hmm. across America yeah. that travels 12 states. Mm -hmm. Is 3,365 miles. Yeah, I believe that. How far did you just say that was? 2,800 miles. And to me. No, I'm confused. No, 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 no. Think about how. Think about roads, okay? <laughs> roads are not straight lines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Roads are I not guess straight that's lines. True. You know? So. So we're just going literally from. I get it. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. All right, fine. Whatever. So what's the longest road that goes through 12. States and is uh, what did you say? Thirty three hundred miles long. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you options because. Oh really? I think you should just guess. <sighs> I would guess. It starts in. I think it's, it starts in Boston. It goes from Boston to Newport, Oregon. Oh no! One hundred percent. I know this one. Okay. Uh, I ninety. Yeah. Same thing as US twenty. Oh no 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 not at all. That's then completely you're different. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely different. <laughs> no, US 20 oh. is completely different. US 20 is actually State Street in Rockford. That's right. Yeah. I was like, I yeah. really feel like this sounds familiar, yeah. but not for where I, we Treehouse, are. Treehouse Brewery in uh, Mol Molton, Molton yeah. Massachusetts is off of 
business 20. And it's so weird because you oh. can take it all the way. That's crazy. That's exciting. That's cool. So that's okay. State Street. That's 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 nice. hometown okay. question. Oh boy. Um, the other part of my question, just to be fun, because um, <laughs> there's a name for this this route because it's America's Mother Road and it goes that that long or whatever. What is the name of it? And I'll give you options for this. Okay, okay that'd be great. Long Boy. Long Boy. Yeah. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Okay. Big Mama. Big Mama. Or Wiener Dog Highway. Wiener Dog Highway. <laughs> I don't know what the last question. I don't. Well, I got see, nothing. Here, you're, I feel like this is such a trick question <laughs> with the way you said it, is because, he, first of all, you were like, "This is the mother of the, of the high of the highways or whatever in, in the United States," and so that's be like Big Mama, right? Mm -hmm. But also, you were like, "Oh, this is so funny." It's like you know, okay, long boy, like a wiener dog, okay. But also at the end, you were like, "Let me put the last one is like." Wiener Dog Highway, so like how hilarious is this? It's Big Mama, okay? There we go, that's what it is, boom. You're trying to trick me and it's unfair and I can't believe it. That's wrong. <laughs> Dang it! It's Big Daddy. Oh, come Big on. Big Daddy, I'm sorry. So a triple, tri triple I apparently trick question. I am not as predictable as you're putting me out to be and I'm oh very upset goodness. that you're putting me into all these like boxes. Well, I can just it's read defensive. you really well. It's not, a, it's not, you know, it's whatever. Just reading questions as they are. Um, all right. So your turn. Yeah. Worst road trip car. Also by estimate, how many miles per gallon does the 2015 Bugatti Veyron get him a car costing 2.25 million dollars? Whoa! 10 miles per gallon, 12 okay. miles per gallon, 14 miles per gallon, 16 miles per gallon. I'm gonna say f was 14. You said was one of them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say 14. Miles 14. Per gallon. Final answer. Yes. Wrong. Really? Because I feel ten. Like, what? Ten miles per gallon. See, I thought like pickups had like really bad gas mileage, but I thought that they were still like seventeen miles to the gallon. Is that not right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think oh, they're like okay. twenty and seventeen. That was like, the like only that. bit of yeah. logic that was sort okay. of running around my head, and it obviously right. got me nowhere. All right. Nice. Um. So. You got two wrong, I got one wrong. So far? Wait, how many questions have I done? Just three, I think, each. Right? Mine was like a two-part question, so that Oh, that doesn't, doesn't count? Okay, well, give me the last one, and if I get this okay. one right, then I pull the W here. I'll give you my bonus question, just because I wrote it down, and I feel like... It's all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I couldn't find an exactly, like, I don't know how credible this source is, but it was no part one. of a, like, project time off website that I found. Sure. And they had stats in it and this is the only place I could find it. Sure. So this is also from 2016, but. Sure. What is the average um, amount of vacation days that a person takes in a year? An average, okay, multiple but questions. I think like this is from 2016. 2016, okay. Yes. Um, Um, here are your options. I'm laughing a stroke. I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, 7.2 okay. days per year. 22.7 days per year. <laughs> yeah, right. 32.5 days per year. No way. Or 16.8 days per no year. No way. I am, it's 7.2, and I am so surprised that that number is so high. So high? Is that a high number? That's high as junk. Seven days per year? I have zero faith Taking in- Taking time off? I have zero faith in employers that they're able to give people that amount of time off. Like a week. A what week. are you talking about? That's like, you I know. so much time, I know. people have more time 
it's like the bare minimum, man. I don't know. It's just like that's what I feel like. It's like they're like, oh, we have a week vacation every year. We can go wherever we want. I'm like, really? So this is according to what the time off that people actually use. Yeah, 7.2. But you're not saying that that's the only time they're allotted, right? Because most places give you like five to six. Of course, days. of course, of oh, course. Okay, that's what I but thought you were between saying. employer and between employee, oh, of I have for time zero off. faith that I anybody, gotcha. even if they're given the time, you know, does that sort of things. I gotcha. You can tell me I'm right, you know. <laughs> you're wrong, actually. No, is it 16? 16.8. Oh. Yeah. There's but no that's way. dropped from, it used to be 20. Really? That's between the years of. 1978 to 2000 the average was 20.3 days which this is said that it's only over two weeks because well there was a i can't it was like this also had an attachment that said like how many billion dollars worth or whatever of time off people didn't use or whatever and it was mm -hmm. just an insane amount of money Time. Yeah, which I don't understand because especially like I with the job that I have now I don't accrue PTO, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, but I also took a significant amount of time off this past year because Mentally I think you need to and I think people should stop lying to themselves saying like oh well, I have nowhere it doesn't don't go anywhere. Just don't be at work. That's all that matters. You're getting paid for it Take some time off. Oh exactly 100% 100% you don't have the money to go anywhere? Yep. Great, don't. But yeah. don't go to work. Okay, well That's I guess it. since I got that wrong, I guess we're going into sudden death. <gasps> oh no, I don't have another question. <laughs> oh really? So, for our final death round, since we're both tied and I got two wrong and you got two wrong, okay, yeah. here is the question. All right. How long did it take for Kim Kardashian, this is for, Let's redo it. And cut. Um, so this is for our tiebreaker. I have two yes. wrong, you have two wrong. So therefore, we must enter a sudden death round. All right? Okay? Yeah. How long did it take, Kim, take for Kim Kardashian to file for divorce in her marriage with future Hall of Fame basketball player Chris Humphreys? Notice, Hall of Fame basketball player is sarcastic. <laughs> Here are your options. <laughs> 72 seconds. Oh. 72 minutes. 72 hours. Or 72 days. Oh my. I should have wrote 72 years. That would have been I hilarious. <laughs> sudden death and it's like I give you like one and if you get it right uh, you win if you get it wrong I win sort of thing oh, we'll okay. do that from now on out until right. we do like a college football system where I'll it's like pull it together you get a chance I get a chance you get a chance I get a chance gotcha. till one of us really messes up you know? all right that's fair yeah screw that I'm sorry no hey that's that's fine that's no big so deal what do I win? whatsoever um <laughs> A pack of combos. We're gonna go find a pack of combos. Mm. The pizza, the pizza vomit flavored ones, and we're gonna uh, make that happen. You know. Ew. I've never had them before. I, I've never. I don't even think I've used a regular. Ooh, I don't even want to know. It's combos, 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 not combos. <laughs> you sound like you're saying the same thing. Combos. My combos, B's and B's combos, are the same combos, thing. Combos, combos. It's just like I have some sort of new. Way of speech. I don't know. Way of speech. I don't know. To speech. Um. All right. That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. We should do that again. There's nothing like reading how? trivia while you're driving. How are we <laughs> living on the edge? <laughs> Ooh, watch how? out! Living dangerously. How are I'm we like Tom Cruise. Out? I do my own stunts. Where are we? Wow, this is such a weird road to be going down. This is not UBS. I have no idea where I'm going. This turned into a whole more ordeal where I'm like, let's just get some footage. 
and oh, suddenly, we don't know where we're going. No. I was like, we're in the middle of a neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think this is where the post office is. Well, we gotta go, dude. You going. know, actually, I should I should actually pull over and get directions, though, to be honest, because oh, they do have closing times. Oh. I know, I, I well, yeah. You just, want me? I'll just yeah, just do it. It's, it's one, I think the closest one, well, I don't know, unless we run into 93. Just, yeah, just give me the, the closest U, UPS, not FedEx, not okay. Postal Office, just FedEx. I don't trust the rest of them. FedEx, you know, FedEx, uh, FedEx did my, did my boy Tom Hanks dirty. They abandoned him. Am I right? Take a right up on this road. Here, I'll, take, I'll take it. Um, right? You mean from Castaway? Yeah. Oh my god. That's why I can't. That's why I can't ship stuff through FedEx, man. I don't know. I don't trust them. I can't have my shipments being stranded on random islands. Okay. You know, it's what it is. What it is. What's in the What's in the news lately? That's not absolutely awful to talk about. Um, I mean, I would say the Grammy but I didn't watch them. I didn't I just watch them either. Heard that Bruno Mars won more than people were thinking he was gonna win. Yeah, you know that Which happens. I, just that statement alone. Not that I again have did not watch them. I just am a little surprised that he's still relevant. And I mean that in well, the most. <sighs> yeah. No, I, I agree. I agree. I, it's not like I totally dislike him. I just kind of it was like it would be like oh. Yeah. That's still a thing. Yeah, this yeah. is still happening enough that yeah. we're giving Grammys to people that put in this much effort. Bruno Mars has always been a guy to me that he just shows up randomly at the Super Bowl and I'm always like, oh, he still does this. <laughs> well, that too. That's you know, kind of, I guess, I'm like, always surprised to see him and I don't know why because I'm sure he's all over everywhere. I just, yeah, sure, I don't sure. know. I just, I think it's funny that, I think it's funny that they give awards to Bruno Mars and then the next day like all these articles come out that they're like oh no not a lot of people watched the Grammys last night and it's like yeah because you give awards to Bruno Mars like what do you I mean that's I don't know I thought those things were both mutually inclusive I don't know yeah, awards should... to Bruno Mars can I see your phone yeah I yeah. would kind of like look up who won stuff sure because I am, I'm always curious like who wins like best. Oh yeah, get that, well, get that figured out. What are these? Is that part of it? You have to shake gotta, that phone around. You have to. I don't know okay. if you guys know about all these new gestures for the iPhone, for the new iPhone, but like, it's. Oh. It's like a wand now. It is. It's kind of like. Yeah, yeah, but. Uh, Expecto Petroleum, you know, like stuff like that, you know. Nope. That's you guys big not... into Harry Potter like me? I love, I love whenever he does ex his Expecto Petroleum. That's my favorite spell. All right. Anyway. <laughs> so album, album of the year. Okay. Uh, twenty four K Magic. Is that supposed to be twenty four thousand? I don't know. I, do, I don't even know. I don't even listen to anything that's. So he went album. So he went. Know. They weren't just like, oh, Bruno Mars. You're not just like this good song. You are this entire album. Like well, this, then he wins your... song of the year. That's what I like. Whoa. Which, Wait, not that's gonna what you lie, like? I, that's the name of the song. Oh. Not a fan of that song. Logic's the Suicide Hotline uh, song. Yeah. What about it? Was nominated as was Issues by Julia Michaels. Don't even know what that is. Despacito. Hmm. And then yeah. 444 by Jay Z. I heard child. I heard my boy Childish Gambino. He won something. I'm looking. Um. I just find it weird that he's also considered R and B. Him? Bruno Mars. Oh, Bruno Mars. Best R and B album was the 24K Magic, and I wow. guess probably that's probably not what it is. It 24,000 Magic? I don't know. Who knows? I don't. Whatever. It is what it is. I don't know what it is, and that's what I'm gonna call it. Oh, you found it. I did. It's over here in Z Corner. You found our way. Wow, yeah. this is a tiny little I know. box of a store. I know, and like there are people who park like that. Nice. Yeah. My car is small enough. I can do it. So, and you park so far back are you that. Are able to get out? Yeah. If I got up right here. Oh, 
and we're back. All right. <laughs> By the power of movie making, we, we are, didn't really say goodbye, so we didn't. There's that. We were like bye, and we bye. just left. <laughs> just abandoned everybody. It's all right. But yeah, we uh, ship some stuff. Super exciting. Super expensive. Yeah. Shipping is expensive. They tell you the price of goods and services have remained the same. And they're not joking. Actually, they are joking. It's a lie. <laughs> they're lying. They're lying. Prices of goods and services are up. And your wages are down. Sorry. So we're going to go to Duncan, right? Yes. Gonna do. I would love a nice Duncan. A Northeast tradition. Yes. So, we were talking about Bruno Mars winning the Grammys and then having no idea why people don't watch. You know, I'm glad. You know, you know what helps views. You know, what was probably the only people that tuned in last night were people like me who are glad that Taylor Swift wasn't nominated for anything. At least I don't think she was. Shots fired. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> it's not even that controversial. I just like am not. Never been. I didn't even see if she was nominated, but I'm kind of over that. So I've never cool. been a Taylor Swift. Just that's never been my thing. It's just so weird. And so strange and it makes it even weirder though when you find out her dad or something like that was some like really higher up like like banker or like a CEO of a bank or something like that and um, yeah it's it's really weird like it's like it yeah. makes it like oh this person like they didn't like and he like bought like a label or something and she was only the only person on that label for a considerable amount of time I don't know it just makes you be like, come on, yeah. man. You're buying You're buying your way. You're buying your way. Yeah. Exactly. It's kind of like that. I, it's And this is a little bit more controversial. It's kind of like those dudes on YouTube who are really famous, who start, like, vlogging. And first of all, I mean, like, how dead is the vlog community? Like, how dead is that? I mean, that's getting... I don't think there's another community that is getting just mercilessly beat like a dead horse than the vlog community. Like, don't get me wrong, yeah. there's still some good ones out there. But, like, generally, it's just getting murdered to death by a bunch of, like, hype beast street gang, street wearing, I don't know, street wear, street wearing, I don't know, something. People, and it's just like, stop it. Get some help, you know? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but going back to the whole, like, people buying their way into stuff, it's just, like, all these celebrities, like, I don't know if you've seen, like, Will Smith's, Will Smith has a vlog and stuff. Yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of weird. weird. It is Like, weird. I like Will Smith, but, like, that vlog is weird. Like, I'm like, all right, like, this is, um... Like, dude can't even hold the camera. Like, not that it has to be the only shot, like, you ever use. But still, yeah. it's, like, that's kind of what I feel, like, really made the vlog, like, a thing. Was how personal it was. And right, like it's, it was, yeah. like, it's, like, in real life streaming, you know? It's yeah. just, like, I don't yeah. know. And that was just kind of... I, I watched it, and I was, like, this is weird. And it didn't... It wasn't not weird. It was just always weird. I was just, like... Mm -hmm. I hope this get nope nope. Because I weird. feel like if that's considered vlogging, then like yeah, keeping up with the Kardashians is vlogging too. Oh, 100 percent. I feel like 100%. that's where the cross. It's like 100. So you're not gonna record yourself. You're not gonna edit your footage. Yeah, you're just gonna yeah. stand there and talk yeah. to the camera or talk yeah. about your life to and, the camera. And I'm sure. And I'm sure he he, show. he maybe has like a shot where he's holding or like a couple, but it's not like primary. Or, or like in as like as opposed to like if you're a vlogger and you're starting up you're like well i'm not gonna pay a cameraman so i'm gonna have to do this myself right and you're like the idiot with the selfie stick or like all these things you know yeah i could never i could never ever ever vlog it's legit it just like it looks weird those chairs where what chairs those chairs right at the gas station well that's so cool they're like dining room table chairs. With like a cover over them. Yeah, like nicer, not nice, but I mean like 
dining room table chairs like next to gas pumps in case you need to take a load off. Only in Boston. Which you can't do because they don't have those little nope. latch. Oh, the latch. The latch. Don't get me started on the don't latch. Don't get me started on the latch. I miss the latch. You know, like the the gas station like you put in the pump into your thing and then you have this latch and you can just hands-free device filling up my my gas tank here no no latch no latch your latch no latch no life dude and it's just honestly you go to drive out to like new york or something like that and you realize what a free people the yes. new yorkers are with the latch or yes. a more better example new hampshire Okay, New Hampshire is the freest of peoples in the United States of America. And that's no secret. <laughs> Go to any New Hampshire liquor store in numero uno. You don't pay taxes. There is no liquor tax. It's liquor and wine, I believe. And secondly, New Hampshire is so free that you can legit buy a bottle of Red Square Soviet Union Communist Vodka. I say this because I have one at home and it is hilarious. Like these people are so libertarian and so free that you're like, hey, you wanna buy stuff that's communist? We're down. <laughs> that's cool. You wanna buy vodka that's made by a foreign government that's probably controlling your mind through the power of nano robotic technology? Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. It's fine. We understand, even if it changes your voting record, we're cool with that. Where all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, libertarian, libertarian, drink the Red Square Vodka, and immediately you're singing the Soviet Union salute or whatever that song is. But these people are so free that they can buy communist stuff, and it's awesome. It's the coolest thing ever. I can't wait to live in a free place in some distant future. Is that a fox all the way out now? Not. I think those are birds or geese. I, I know, but one looked like a fox, and I was like, is that a fox amongst geese? Yeah, so New Hampshire, what a beautiful place. From the gas latch to buying communist propaganda products, New Hampshire is life. <laughs> uh, what are you What are you hungry for? What do you, what do you want? What, do, what would be like, what, um, what would tickle your palate? That's a creepy thing to say. By the way, can we just acknowledge how hilarious it is whenever couples like try to pick out where they're going to eat when they're in a crunch? There's no dinner at home. There's no desire to make dinner at home. And they're like, hmm, where do you where do you want to eat? And it just becomes like this whole like like what is it like United Nations like some sort of like agreement where you're trying to do like some sort of trilateral trade agreement of like what everyone wants to eat but it's just between two people and it's almost impossible to figure out. If you want to know why democracy and, uh, what's it called, word that I can't think of right now is so difficult, insert this exact situation and you'll understand why. Yes. I feel uh, like we need a little like spinny wheel of... We do, we do of like places that are like, eh, I eat there. Remember those, what are those toys called that like it had like farm animals on it or whatever and you'd pull that yeah. little latch and go Yeah, wah, 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 yeah, yeah, it'd wah, make wah, the noise. Yeah. yeah, and then it would land and make the noise yep. or something. something and then whenever it, it was like old enough and that. stuff like that, like it would just, it was like a really old toy, it'd start to be like, you'd like go over to like a cow and you'd be like, the cow says Rah! And it's like, it scared you. <laughs> oh God. Yep. I think every child has experienced that. Or I, I kid you not, we had one of those and towards the end we had to get rid of it because it started going off by itself while we were sleeping. That yeah. That happened to Aaron's, like the Toy Story toys. Like Your there sister? Was like a big, yeah. Yeah. The, um, a big plastic. Like Buzz Lightyear is what I had, and then she mm -hmm. had the Woody doll and with like a pull string in the back. Yeah. And after a while, at night, it just started. Then we had this like, did you have one of those slings? Like it was like a kitty corner thing that you would like put in on the wall, and it would have like it was like a uh, what are they called? A hammock mm. for like toys. We would put like all of our stuffed animals. That in was it. too posh for our no, impoverished existence. Anyway, it was basically like a net <laughs> that you just like had toys in. That's 
not even the point of the story. Anyway, okay, gotcha. But we would keep our toys in there, and yeah. then it hung like right above our beds. And at night, he would just say random things like, "There's a snake in my boat," and it wow. was so scary. So we put him in yeah. the other room. Ours was it's like it was in like a giant child Tupperware thing where we kept all of our toys, yeah. and um, you know they're called Rubbermaids, but. We just called it Tupperware because. Big Tupperware. <laughs> oh boy. Um, and yeah, we would. We had it in there, and like a couple nights, it would just be like. And the farmer says. <laughs> and it was just like. <laughs> we were children. It's too oh too much for our young souls to too take. Too much. Um, that sounds terrifying. Okay. But seriously, let's uh, let's go back to the matter at hand. What in the world are we going to eat? everything for granted when they live in like their certain area I know it, where they're like oh you like all I have is like this we have literally the basics like there's nothing crazy that it's like oh how you want to try want to go to Arby's and be weird or want to go to steak and shake and be weird or want to go to insert literally anywhere we have none of those you see that guy's mustache yeah that guy looked like the wow. owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars huh Thank you for waiting. What can I get for you? We'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. I have Brussels sprouts too. Oh, you messed up, dude. You know what's really funny is just like how much, how much the American drive-thru is such an American pastime. It's like, I've heard yeah. stories about foreigners that come to visit and they just like laugh at how much drive-thru stuff we have. They're like, <laughs> really? <laughs> drive through banks what was that that they do <laughs> i don't know i'm trying to do like a very pretentious like uh no i get you it. know whatever it. it is message received i mean it kind of is but i think that we really don't like socializing but i thought that was yeah. more of like a worldwide not i shouldn't say worldwide but maybe no that's probably pretty american like not wanting to talk to people oh yeah 100%. and like those amazon stores now that are just doing like you don't have to talk to anyone yep. you just get to be charged through your account yep which is interesting Bye. Like yeah, that's like, that's an introvert's paradise. Like that's like, just like, mm -hmm. we're just gonna do this, you know? Oh my goodness, I've been attacked. By ice. Isis. <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes. Bad jokes. Oh my, it's true. It's also a pretty cool play on words that you just did. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You have a great day, okay? You do. We're gonna hit up uh, Duncan, right? Oh, are you still taking me there? There's one like literally right here. Is of course I would. Uh, I don't think so. Go in. Man, I don't. I do not have like a morning like drink addiction. No, I do. Like I'm scarfing down in the mornings like tons of water, tons of tea, tons of like just anything I can get my hands on. But coffee, never coffee. Oh, is there no way to get in here? There isn't, I guess. Was. I thought there was two. Well, we'll go to the other ones right by the house. No big deal. <laughs> Luckily, we live in Boston, where there's literally a Dunkin' on every corner. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. Not much of a donut guy either. I used to be. I used to be a big donut guy. Love donuts. You would think with my thickness now. 
That'd be like a whole, that would be like a whole deal. Like, Ryan, dude, that guy, guy kills donuts, dude. Guy's a donut killer. Nope, not donut anymore. Killer. Not anymore, man. When I was a kid and I was like 100 pounds, I was putting down donuts like the Grim Reaper. Is that a term? No. Putting things down like the Grim Reaper. Let's make it a term. No. I feel like you could sell some really cool shirts that say that. Like, put it down like the Grim Reaper. Except for you can't really read things in an accent like that. That's not how reading works. But Okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. I had no idea. Good pastries, I think, come from small places, though, you know? Oh, yeah. The Chicago area that we kind of grew up in, like the bomb pastry places were Mexican and Italian. Those were, like, so yes. good. Except for, like... The Italian places out there, I feel like, kind of more accepted the American diet a little bit more than the Italian. So it was less on the cannolis and more on the donuts. Yeah. But they were bomb donuts, though. They were good. Yeah. They were good. As opposed to here, it's like, oh, no, we're going to Americanize cannolis, which is awesome. Like, that's yeah. such a great idea. Um, but, yeah, that shop that was by me in Chicago Oh, was, so good. Um, it was Mexican bakery. It was cheap, man. It was so, so cheap. Good. It was all like oversized and delicious. Yeah. And so great. So good. Pastries, man. Yes. That sounds really good. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Am I right, guys? Does that even apply here? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, Pastries. Oh, my oh. God. Help. You've had me in the car too long. Yeah, I know. It's not super cold anymore. Living life. It's supposed to get cold again. I don't know. I mean, I was surprised that it snowed. This winter has been. It's been random. Random as junk. So it's been cold and warm and cold and warm and yeah. cold and then like warm. And then now it's kind of where what winter should be. And I don't know. It's hard to. Make winter normal again. Yeah, we should. We really should. Um. We should do that. We should do that the Elon Musk way, where we like, we should you know, like nuke the Earth or something like that to help with the to help combat climate change to force like a nuclear winter or something like that. I don't think that's really what he's doing, but <laughs> <laughs> that sounds scary. Yeah, that would be like, hey, so warm out. How about I make it cold for like 15 years? Cool, right? No sun, crops can't grow, cool. Cool. <laughs> massive, Great. massive starvation. I don't know. I don't really know. I hope it doesn't come to that. I'm kind of interested now. No. Nope. Got my mind on the global starvation. Mm. Mm. I think this one turned off too. It's fine. We'll just, here, we'll just go into here and we'll just call it. Okay. On the, we'll, yeah, but um, yeah. So I'm not gonna lie, it was a fun first go around. Yeah. Solid. I like it. Um, I like it. I like, I like it. it. I mean, not I not approve. a terrible, not a terrible first episode. You know, like I was kind of thinking, I was <laughs> like, eh, it's gonna be like whatever. Um, but you know, we're gonna look back in like years from now when we're still doing this inevitably. And uh, we're gonna big and famous. Well, no, not even big and famous. Us and our 26 <laughs> followers and stuff. And yes. I will look back five years from now and we'll just like watch our first episode and just kind of cringe a little bit. Just be like, Ooh, I don't know, man. Not, not all about that, you know? I don't know. Work out the kinks. Yeah, but not to the point where you're just like cringing, where you're like, oh, cancel it. I don't care what we're doing now. It's over. <laughs> we watch the first episode again. <laughs> bad it's very bad man feels bad man oh well that is gonna do it for the car ride combo podcast number one let's out it <laughs>